what's up what's good what's going on Sagittarius so let's jump in and look at the person on your mind see what's going on with them all right so guys this is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius Sun Moon rising North Node Venus as well as that ninth house place placement it's very particular messages for the sign of uh, for the ninth house collective here on the Mandula awakening um, but even with that being said, guys, these are general messages. So just take what resonates for you and bless someone else with the rest, okay? Let's jump straight in. Let's see what's going on with this person on Sagittarius's mind, Sag a spirit. What's going on with Sagittarius's person? Thank you. And so we have awakening. We have apology and soulmate. Oh, and then deception at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. So I do feel like that this person is having a sudden realization here. This I do feel like that this person, there's a sudden real, uh, realization that is going to bring in an apology here. I, I feel And I feel like that through this revelation, they're going to be able to offer something that is going to allow the two of you all to come to a mutual understanding here. All right, so let's get into the tarot. Let's see how let's see how this person is showing up. All right, so let's see what's going on here. All right. person is definitely coming in with that apologies oh wow and it ain't no small oh my goodness Sagittarius it's no small apology baby it's not the deception the seven of swords showed face behind all of this major and deception is at the bottom of the deck of this um a first uh oracle or the oracle deck that we did but um I feel like that this is something that is on its way to being healed I just seen two, two, two on the timer, and we have a divine counterpart here on the table. What is going on? But I do feel like that this apology here, like, let me slow down. This apology here is nothing to play with, Sag. Um, they definitely want to move this. This apology has the potential to move things onto calmer waters. Here's Sagittarius. Here's where um, there is a need to be tempered and balanced. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is a need to take what they're giving you and alchemize it allow your intuition to really guide you because whatever this apology is for i do feel like that it does reveal some type of deceptions um other deceptions that you may not have been aware of you know what i'm saying and so how you respond and react to that is is crucial right now this person is trying to come up with some type of strategy though this person is coming with an official apology because they are having a sudden realization. Your person is showing up as the Ace of Wands here, Sagittarius. So this person wants a brand new, a new, a, they want a new opportunity with you. They do. They want a new spark, a new passionate spark, uh, a new passionate um, beginning with you. They do. Um, how they see Sagittarius is the King of Cups. I do feel like that this person sees you as like they, they have a lot of love for you this person does have a lot of love for you and i also feel like that they are well aware that you have a lot of love for them also um <clears throat> I will say that there's something about this person also getting in the energy of feeling like sometimes that your emotions may get the best of you okay I do feel like this person is planning something. I do feel like that this person is in the stages of planning something. Um, I think that the current state of this connection being the Ten of Wands, I do feel like that this person, like this connection is very, like there's a lot of baggage inside of this connection here. And I feel like that this person is in the planning stages of trying to not focus on the baggage, but how to get into a new beginning. I mean, hell, the likely outcome here is the full card. So there is some sort of new beginning. There's a leap of faith that's being taken here. And we're looking at the person on your mind. So I do feel like that this, and they're leaping towards 
this connection, even though that they know that the current state of it is the Ten of Wands. It's like this person is like, well, if I lighten my load and I come in and I see and I address everything that I've left Sagittarius to hold and to handle, then maybe I can lighten the load. Maybe I can, you know what I'm saying, reduce this down to the Ace of Wands, okay? But this person does want some type of uh, reducing of the baggage that the two of you all have. Um, let's do some clarifying. Let's see what's going on here. I do feel like that you, I don't feel like that you really all let emotionally open to them. I do feel like that this person feels like that you um, hide your emotions, are emotionally unavailable to them, emotionally cut off. But they know that there's still love there. And this person still loves you, honey, for sure. Let's see, why is this person showing up as the Ace of Wands here, Spirit? Seven of Pentacles, a Sun card. <laughs> what I tell you, this person wants to put in like this. It's like the sudden revelation is like, damn, if I want real love, real love is what I want. But it's like this person has been going about a ready made connection. It's like this person is still fantasizing off of something that they've seen in their childhood. And they're thinking that that's what every connection is supposed to be like. But this person isn't asking themselves, nor the other, the, the connection that they're admiring. They're not asking the people involved in that what it took to get there. But this person is having some sort of sudden revel realization that the way they've been playing they see this is just not what it is and i do feel like that this person is wanting to um plant seeds in a more optimistic manner here yes for sure so why does this person see sagittarius as the king of cups spirit why does this person see sagittarius as the king of cups The two of wands in the reverse. Um, I do feel like that. The, I, I, I am leaning like this person. You are this person is feeling the fact that you are emotionally unavailable. You're not as emotionally available for this person as you have been in the past. This person is full well aware. And this person, I feel like also this person is aware that it's because you can't see a future with this. There is like no matter which angle you try to look at it, it's, it's you see this connection being walked down a disappointing alley you know what i'm saying and um so it's like this person feels like you're going and looking into other options this person does feel like that you're out interviewing other options for sure and having fun in other energetic spaces for sure but this person does have a lot of love for you sag Let's look at the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here, spirit? Page of swords in the reverse with the emperor. Yeah, this person's just doing a lot of investigating. They're not doing much action. Um, but it's like this person is waiting. Yeah, this person is waiting for you to put your defenses down. And it's like, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, Sagittarius. I, I, this might be a story for a Sagittarius. Like you, you might have somebody on your mind, but this ain't the person that you are entertaining. Physic, like in the physical energetic space there is somebody else in your energetic space physically or this person assumes there is and so it's like this person is looking for an opportunity of discord between you and that other person in order for your defenses to come down so that they can come in because i don't feel like that this person has the cojones to come in and give you what it is that you truly deserve so it's like this person I, i'm not gonna lie i feel like this person is waiting for you to be at a weak moment to come in and try to play captain save a ho but we don't need no captain save a ho sagittarius you 
Yeah, I see the three of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. This person is looking on a perfect look is waiting on the perfect opportunity to collaborate with you. Um but it's like this person definitely needs there to be some emotional um maturation there not only in your situ in, in in your situation with them but there's a sense of this person waiting for an emotionally vulnerable moment due to an external situation outside of the two of you let's look at the ten of wands for the state of the connection the ten of wands for the state of the connection here spirit The five of wands reverse the nine of pentacles. <clears throat> There's something about this person that um, it's like they don't know how to make a compromise with you. This It's like this person feels like, like it's like they left you with a lot of responsibilities and you handled that shit. But it's like they left you with all of those responsibilities with the hopes that they were going to be able to use the burden of those responsibilities as a negotiating tactic to get the door back open to you. But the way but you the way that you're handling this like these ten of wands it's like they don't know how to make this compromise and to come in and really break the ice so that they can have a forward transition with you. That's crazy. And so that does bring in some anxiety when it comes to reaching out to you, Sag. Yeah, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Give me just a second. Let me tell them, bring it down just a little bit. All right, so let's look at this likely outcome here being the full card. Why is the full card the likely outcome here? Why is the full card the likely outcome? Thank you. We have the Two of Cups, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, and the World card. The, yeah, there's definitely unfinished business here. There are some delays and things moving forward. Like I do feel like that eventually you and this person do have some type, some sort of another go around. This cycle between the two of you all isn't completely closed out. And I feel like that there is some sort of connection here. Like this connection between the two of you all. Um... I just feel like that there is an emptying out of the baggage even with this piggy bank it's like you guys were like keeping tabs of what people were doing wrong you know what I'm saying and this full card that particular card is in the reverse so it's like everything that y'all been storing away to throw back at one another it's like it gets dumped out you know what I'm saying and because it's getting dumped out it's you're able to see that well maybe the cycle really isn't over it was just too heavy you know what I'm saying and it was stuck and because it was stuck in that position it just seemed like there was no more juice for it to go any farther so you assume that it was over but I feel like that there's gonna be a point in time via this awakening in this apology that's gonna allow for that to that heaviness to be dumped out and things are gonna begin to slowly but surely begin to progress forward Let's get a message of love for this here, Sagittarius. This is for the person on Sagittarius' mind. Guys, this does not necessarily have to be romantic, um, but uh, it could be any 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 connection. We In the major arcanas, we have Gemini. We have the world card is Cap, uh, it's Sab, Saturn energy, which is Capricorn energy. And then we have the full card, which is Aquarius energy. <clears throat> Definitely feeling a fixed sign except for that Gemini energy. That's mutable. All right, Spirit, what is the message of love here for the sign of Sagittarius as it pertains to this reading? Thank you. Yeah, wow, awakening. Wow. Like that is literally the most important thing that you need to know. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation here. So when you receive this apology, there's no need in knocking heads and hammering in the old shit. It's time to empty the piggy bank. 
it's time to get that fresh start but you must decide what is it that you want from this connection here okay all right, Sagittarius, I hope that this offered you the guidance that you were seeking. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace, love and light.